Hi, my name is George McKenzie. I'm not a doctor, but I have had a lot of kidney problems through the years, and I've learned a lot about the different types of kidney disorders. So I've created this video to help anyone who may suspect they're developing a kidney problem and would like to learn a little bit more about this topic. Finding a kidney donor can be a life-saving experience for someone who has kidney failure and needs a kidney transplant. 18 people die every day in the United States alone because a suitable kidney donor can't be found. There are more than 80,000 on a national National Registry waiting and hoping. In several states, including New York and California, there have been patients with kidney problems waiting for 10 years or more. Those who are on the kidney donor waiting list depend on kidney dialysis to stay alive. Dialysis requires them to be hooked up to a machine that cleans their blood three times a week for four hours each time. Normally, this is a job done by healthy kidneys. A kidney donor does not have to be deceased, but they do have to be willing to give up one of their two kidneys. It's possible for a human being to live on just just one kidney and in fact thousands of people have done it for decades with no ill effects on their overall health. Ideally the minimum age is over 18 and the donor should be no older than the early 70s. Parents, children, siblings, other relatives and friends are eligible. A kidney donor should have a genuine interest in contributing a kidney and should also have a blood type that is compatible with the intended recipient. You can't be a kidney donor if you have high blood pressure, cancer, diabetes, kidney disease, heart disease, liver disease, sickle cell disease, HIV, or hepatitis. Someone who's thinking about donating a kidney needs to have a frank discussion with their doctor about the risks. Mortality rates among kidney donors is extremely low, but any kind of major surgery can have complications no matter how rare they may be. The risks involved with donating a kidney are no different than undergoing any other kind of surgical procedure. However, kidney donation does not reduce your life expectancy and you're at no higher risk for kidney disease than you were before. After you recover from your surgery, you have every right to expect to resume a normal active life. Women can carry pregnancies to full term. However, there is one exception, and that's participating in contact sports. Doctors strongly recommend against it because a hard blow to the kidney area can cause kidney damage. Doctors emphasize that no one should ever be pressured to become a donor. It's important that they reach the decision on their own after consulting with family members. Furthermore, it is illegal for a dying patient to try to buy an organ from someone else. Neither is it legal for anyone to try to sell an organ. A 1984 Senate report states that body parts should not be treated like commodities. The cost is often covered by the transplant recipient's medical insurance, including donor testing, surgery, and recovery in the hospital. It does not cover any wage or salary shortfalls the donor experiences, though, due to surgery or recovery. Some employers and some state governments allow for paid leave when you donate a kidney. You should check with your employer about the possibilities. Anyone who's interested in how to donate a kidney should contact the Living Donor Kidney Program to request a questionnaire. The National Kidney Foundation also has a website for donors and potential donors. This video was created to give those who are not medically trained a basic understanding of this topic. Here are two books that offer additional in-depth information about kidney health. Click on the links in the YouTube About section to learn more.